Fabricam. Uh, do you guys know about La Fabrica? So it's a Spanish yeah. cultural organization funded uh, by private and government. It's a really good uh, organization. It's run by mostly volunteers. And every year they do a festival in June called Foro España. And I think for me, Foro España is maybe the best in the world. Uh, and they also publish about 40 books a year. So you can imagine, it's a very dynamic organization. The kind of classic Spanish uh, exceptionalism. You know, people talk about American exceptionalism. It's meaningless. It's a meaningless statement these days uh, because America is so in the shit uh, that it uh, credit for itself. But in Spain, um, Spain um, competes with, with, with France for mm -hmm. uh, the creative soul of Europe, I think. And it's a very, you know, they, want, they don't say it, but they watch each other very closely. And uh, I, I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with La Fabrica. And you guys must go see Puerto España because it's, it's in Madrid, it's every June. And it's really big. They do uh, workshops, so you can uh, you can have a workshop with a really famous photographer. It's not expensive. You know, it's uh, it's it's very affordable. Uh, so anyway, just to talk about the book. So the book was published by La Fabrica in '16, and uh, basically uh, there is a famous um, Spanish designer called. Somebody, Paz. Ramon Paz. Ra Ramon Paz, a very good. Uh, and uh, so when, when I design a book, um, I make it, I physically make it from uh, color photocopies stuck together. The pages, every page stuck. So uh, when you open it up, you have photo, photo. On the back, it's completely white. And then you put some glue on it, stick it together and it holds itself together. So this is how to make a, a book maquette, how to make a book model. And so the, I did that and I sent it to them, hard copy, because if you do a book and you send it to a publisher, uh, it, it's very hard to get their attention with uh, something on screen. Um, but if you send them, something physical, like the book model. I know it, you know, it, co it, it costs a lot of money and it takes a lot of time, but it's very important to do it. Some publishers don't give a shit about your book and they lose your book and they don't care about all the work you put into it. It's one of the risks of, of doing this. Maybe it's good to go in person, maybe good to go in person. And, and these are the issues that you play with you go to the uncomfortable spaces and you know press it press the this you know the painful spot not because you are a masochist or <laughs> you know something uh, not uh, you know somebody who's a I don't know a bad person really uh, I know plenty of folks who play that game uh, who deliberately play this role that they have this dark, kind of satanic dude kind of thing, like uh, like Anders Peterson on steroids or something like that. Uh, but that's only that's going to last you six months, really. Um, ultimately, it comes down to what what you're comfortable with with your work, how you know how it it makes you feel. Uh, uh, it makes you feel really okay about the medium because, believe me, you have to stick with it for decades to to get somewhere. I, d I didn't get my first book until I was 42, so you have to be patient. I used to go in the photo book shop and look at the books and think, why, why not me? What's wrong? What's wrong with my work? The great thing you know, is about India, you know, I, I said uh, 
I said, hi, you know, it's so good to see you here. Can I take a photo? He said, sure, go ahead. You know, so it's a, you know, with photography, it's a luck thing as well. You, you can get lucky sometimes because you don't, you don't meet Mr. Bombay every day. <laughs> yeah. But you need to be out in the field to meet Mr. Bombay or the equivalent of Mr. Bombay. You need to spend time in the field. And so for me, it was the three hours in the morning, three hours in the afternoon, every day, every day. And sometimes, you know, I, I had to six months in India. And so every film was important. Twelve exposures, every photo different because you, you can't buy good black and white film in India. And so the film that you bring in with you, you have to use very carefully. Otherwise, you burn through all your film. This is Bali, very, very beautiful. In the Pakistan, everyone, everyone, you know, with guns and knives. It's a very gun and knife kind of place, Pakistan. Good one. Pakistan is a very nice people world, but again, um, you see women, but only women of the middle class and wealthy families. Uh, so, so yeah, Yemen. Uh, these are my photos from Yemen. Uh, I was photographing with a flash at night, and then um, finally a guy came and said, uh, you know, stop taking photos. And I said to him, uh, go get the police then. And he went and got the, the <laughs> cops said, stop taking fucking photos, you know, so, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. no problem. 2,500 year old Buddhist structures, uh, the ecclesiastic art that runs through through this place of, of uh, Islam, Buddhism, Jainism, and Hinduism is really remarkable and uh, and I think if you're in India you want to talk about that you want to talk to it so this was um, another book I got in 92 because I shipped it. also the project in Brazil was in 15 another festival so Chile and Brazil I came to South America late well, that's my son on the top and, uh, <laughs> It's my grandchildren holding Angelique and the Sultan. And this is from an art gallery, public art gallery in Sao Paulo. And the relative significance of currency. And, uh, these photos are from, from the workshop in Brazil in 15. You know, playing around with the idea of the red lighter. Ex student of mine uh, on the left, and my son in law on the right in Torino. It's my son in law in Torino in uh, the Airbnb place we were staying at. And, uh, Bangkok, last time I was there, and Cairo, <laughs> beautiful Cairo. I taught a workshop there, and that's one of the Norwegian students, belly dancing. And, you know, lots of illustration from the journals. Um, just kind of things that I couldn't photograph, but I could paint. And it's fun. It's, it's fun to learn how to do watercolors. In the South Indian Journal, this is about a dream I had in South India. And that's it, guys. That's the book. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really about an evolution of working with books and how, really, from my early 20s right to now, I still do the same thing. And that's it, guys. Thank you. That's it.